Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome back to Sunday League once again with Under The Radar FC. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for the support on the last video. Obviously, I set a target of 10,000 likes uh, for the semi-final and you guys hit it, so well done for that. Secondly, let's hope that today's video is a lot better than the last one because like I said to you guys already, I was very disappointed that I couldn't show you everything that went on. But we're going to have to move past it because we have a massive game today against top of the league, Long Lane. Yeah, Long Lane, a team that have only lost two games this season, one of those games being to us. So yeah, our aim is pretty much to try and topple them again. We would like to get the three points, and if we do, it will be a massive three points. Anyway, first, let's get to the UTR gang. First up this week, and we're going to have Jamie, who says, So glad to see the boys reach the final. At this point, they are unbeatable. Let's go UTR. It is very well deserved. God bless you all. Best thing to see on a Sunday after revising all day for my GCSEs. Thank you, Jamie, and also good luck with your exams. Hope you do well. Carl says, G, under the radar, onto the finals. Gas, you got this in the bag, no doubt. Love from down under. We are going to have a tough team in the final, but I hope that you're right. I really do, Carl. Sandro says he missed the episode yesterday, but tuned in the first chance he got. Uh, keep up the good work, boys. From Toronto, Canada, the grind never stops. Victor here now, and he says, what a match. Love the celebration from Mike. That frustration felt so real. Feels nice to see you guys go to the final. Hope you can clutch the title as well as the cup. Much love from India. And then finally, we have Connor Lavender, who says, wow, great win, lads. You can just tell, even with a shorter video, how good of a game it was. Keep it up, fellas, and good luck in the final. I know I say this every week, but the support has been immense. You guys have kept it going for such a long time. And if you can keep us going until the end of the season, that would be great. I hope that we can win all the things that we're chasing at the moment. Without further ado, let's get into the lineup. In goal once again, and we're gonna have Cami. At right back today, and we haven't got Bradley in fact, we've got Santos who's playing his last game before he goes on holiday. That might be the end of his season. At centre back, we've had a bit of a shuffle around, but we've still got Jamie in there. And next to him, we've had to put Reggie this time. At left back to start with, we've gone with Jamil. The three in the middle is going to stay the same pretty much. We've got Jed, we've got Tolu, and we've got Mikes. Out wide on the right is going to be Toby. Over on the left is going to be Lamra, of course. And up front to finish off, we're going to have Thomas. On the bench, and we have two players returning. It's going to be Temi and also myself returning to the bench, at least. Temi, I don't know if you guys actually know, has been out with a knee injury. I feel like I might have mentioned it way back in a previous video, but this is the first time he's coming back. So yeah, hopefully it'll be a nice return. Anyway, enough of that, let's get into the game. Last two, last two, last two. Yeah. Shake it all over. Back. What is that song about? One more, one more, one more. <laughs> <laughs> right, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hey, Jamie. Yeah. 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 Left. Hey, I don't want to stand it anymore. Right. We're getting tired, we're getting tired, we're getting tired. That's good. Yeah, it's good. Right. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Left. Oh, Ooh, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Left. Oh. Why are you not skanking, bro? I'm not me either, bro. <laughs> They're dead hobbling, bro. Two turns, two turns. Boys, we're this way. Come on, come on. Come For me, one as well, you know. Yeah. Good morning, boys. Morning. morning. That's like at school. Um, honestly, I don't even want to say too much, but I don't want to let this be a game where we look back and go, "Oh, we've lost the league here." Like, obviously, like I said to you, every team upgrades every week. I see like a good four or five places I don't recognise, but that doesn't change how we play. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. That doesn't change how we play. Obviously, we've had to alter a few things. Some people have dropped out. Brad's injured at the moment, but that doesn't change anything. 
we have the same work effort from the start to the finish. Everyone has to want to win. This is a massive game. These lot are top of the league right now. So to beat them is a big thing, it's a big statement. And then after that we can play as well, I think. But one game at a time, this is a massive game for us to play. The people that haven't had their chance or people that come back from injuries, you have to have the same work ethic. You can't get found out, so you have to have been ready. Whatever position we put you in, you have to do a job for us. Simple as. Simple as. Easy as that. For me, yeah, we all know it's a massive game. But don't let the, the day get to you. Play your game, play smart, and we'll win this. The work rate from the first 10 is where we win the game. You always know this. We give that work rate, they're so crumble. Every team has done it so far. So let's just keep it, keep it going. Last week, I said big players do big things. If you guys think <clears throat> that because we won last week, you can take your foot off the gas, you got another thing coming. This is the league, like Manny and Gaffer said, these lot are top. So if you think you can stroll about and win, we'll come off this pitch angry. And when we lose, no one likes it. The group chat is quiet for like seven days. And that's not what, that's not the vibes we need for today. So I need all of you one um, step at a time. Our first 10 minutes is always slow. Let's work our way into it. Do the right things first, defend, and then let the more creative players up top do the work. So Jed, me and you, we have to hold more, yeah? Yeah. And then we take it from there, boys. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Come on, go boys. boys. Okay, so here we are, ready to start the game. We're at Long Lane's home ground. We're in the white kit today. Obviously, they are in the blue and black stripes. And I'm not sure if you guys do remember, but this is the same pitch that we played against South East Athletic Maroon on. And uh, yeah, Long Lane have started the game by playing it out to the left. Uh, it's been a foul committed by Jamie. Their guy's gone to the ground and the referee's pointed for a free kick. Okay, so after he's gotten himself to his feet, the 11 takes a free kick into the box. It's punched away nicely by Cami, cleared further by Thomas, and it looks like we might be able to get on a break here. Santos plays it into Mike's. Mike's tries the early ball to Toby. Unfortunately, this time, it will run out of play. They've played one over back into our half. It's going to drop down only to the head of Reggie, really. Uh, Jed's jumping there. Mike's is also in the mix. He's been tugged by the 16, and he feels like he should have some sort of a free kick there. Play continues anyway, and uh, this guy for long lanes played a ball down the line uh, to the number 11, Number 11's taken on Jamie there. He's gone past Jamie and Jamie's put him uh, to the ground and they're calling for a penalty there. It could, could really be a penalty. 11 can't believe it. Referee says no and Jamie is very dangerous there. I would be calling for a penalty, I have to say. So we have really escaped. It would seem that once again we have started a little bit slow, but this is some good pressure from Thomas there, and the ball's going to break to the left uh, to Lamre, who's got this guy in the orange boots chasing him. Can he get any support? Mike's is showing. Uh, Tolu comes to help out as well. Can he get something into the box? He's gone back out to Lamre. Lamre tries to play it into Mike's, and eventually Long Lane will get it out. They've cleared it again once more, and it'll come out only as far as Reggie, who gets it back up in the air. It's going to be Jed going for a challenge. The six seems to have fouled him. Referee says there's nothing wrong with it, though. I have to say, I was worried for a moment. He did fall quite awkward which didn't look too nice. Santos has the ball on the right and he gets his head up. He tries to play a switch pass. It doesn't look like it's going to make it, but it has. And it's gone over the head of the 14. Lamry's controlled it nicely. He's uh, brushed him off and held it up in time for the overlap of Jamil. What can Jamil do here with this cross? He's gone to play into the box, but it's going to end up way behind the goal. Long lane so far looking like the team that's more likely to hurt us as the 11's been able to turn away from Jamil a little bit too easily. Slipped in the 16 there. Cammy's made a decent save and Jed's going to clear it before it can go towards the goal. They're going to pick it up again and and if you haven't identified it already, this 11 is definitely their danger man as he comes across uh, the middle of the pitch and he plays it into the 16 and tries to get back. A bit of a deflection goes to the 14, but he's dragged his shot. Over on the right hand, we have the ball with Santos, who plays it into Tolu. You can see the bounce has done him there. The bobble was just literally quite bad on this pitch as uh, the 11 does well to get past Jamil there. Lamry comes across to try and help and stop this attack. The 11 had some good feet though, uh, a clever player, and he's won them a free kick somehow. Bradley is indeed injured today, but it's not going to stop him from being busy. He's not happy with the placement of the ball, so he walks on the pitch and decides to place it where he thinks it should be. However, this number seven comes across, places it back. We're all thinking, oh, well done, fair play, but he just drags it straight forward and he's just being a bit cheeky. So then number seven goes in to whip this. He's got a good delivery, this number seven. Unfortunately, it can't beat the UTR shirts this time. Toby sets one for Mike's. Mike's reverses it into Thomas and it looks like we might have a little counter attack on there. Lambert's trying to get past the number seven. He's got three long lane shirts chasing and the bobble is going to carry the ball out of play. There is a bit of a scuffle going on on this left hand side. It goes 
goes into the number 10. Reggie's foot looked a little bit high there to me as uh, it goes into Mike's anyway. Jams keeps it alive. Lamro from good chest control and it looks like we can advance forward. Thomas there skips away from the number 6 and plays into Mike's. Mike's lets his touch go a little bit loose there but he's able to win us the throw. That throwing goes into the box from Mike's. It's quite a long one. Toby tries to get down. Number 21 comes across. Toby gets his body in front. It has his legs swiped a little bit but the referee's not hearing it. Instead it's going to be a throw in for long lane and it's thrown back onto the pitch. Number 6 shoves Lamro in the back quite blatantly. Referee says nothing wrong with that. Santos isn't actually a right back. I must remind you of that. He's a winger but he's done us a favour today and played up right back so fair play to him as he's played it down the line uh, for Thomas. Thomas keeps it alive only to Jed and Jed's touch is heavy and out of play. The ball seems to be free. I think with 16 just popped off to the 11 and once again he's come here to have a little bit more fun. He's very quick, very nippy, very tricky and he does win himself a free kick. Seven again on the delivery and he's trying to whip this ball into the box left footed but once again it doesn't beat um, a UTR shirt as it looks like Santos can get us on the break. He's played it into Mike's here but the bobble's beaten Mike's. His touch couldn't be secure there. It comes back out to Santos though and he's tried to play a ball switching it for Jed and it's just going to run out again. The ball's free in the middle and Jed's going to touch it down nicely and uh, he's given it away this time unfortunately. The pass couldn't match the touch. It's played down the line by the 14 of Long Lane and the 11's going to chase and he's looking to be in another one on one situation. He's up against Reggie there. He's done well to get to the byline against Reggie. Can he get something across the box? He does. Uh, Santos has done just enough to put off the guy following into the box. Seven keeps it alive though. It looks like it's going back in, but Reggie's done well to get his head there. Uh, fortunately for us, the linesman's flagged for offside. Their goalkeeper has it in his hands and he kicks it from his hands. It goes down to Tolu, who cushions it nicely uh, with his right foot. Mike's gets caught there, but it goes into Thomas and he'll play out wide to Lamre. lamre has got Mike's in support. What can he do up against the 14? Tries a bit of trickery there and he's won us a throw. Nothing really happened from that throw, but this time we're going to have a ball uh, that's gone over the top. Thomas has done well to win the flick on and it's gone to Lamre up against number 14 it's a good battle here as he tries to go inside he cuts back outside and he gets the ball to the back post with his left foot Toby's arriving there but he can't direct it back towards the goal we are slowly but surely starting to warm into this game now as uh, Lamry takes a quick throw into Mike's. Mike's gets the ball into the box. 21 comes across to cover and he's cleared it away only as far as the 10 but his touch is loose and he goes in there and he's fouled Mike so it's definitely going to be a free kick for UTR. Mike's is going to try and whip this free kick into the box but unfortunately this time can't find any of its targets. Long Lane have played this over the top for the 14 to chase. He's up against Santos here. Can Santos do enough? 14 versus 14 and he's able to win us the goal kick. The ball's come across. It's just broken down in the middle and Jamil can't sort out his feet initially but he comes across and that in my opinion is an outrageous tackle. He's been off the ground there. Absolutely dangerous although he's gotten the ball. Uh, but Long Lane continue. We'll go back to that in a second. Comes out to this number 11 who's up against Reggie. Can he do anything special here? Reggie gets a foot to it and it's out. But yeah, let's take a look at this. Jams has absolutely taken flight in desperation. And I'm not going to lie, if that challenge was on me, I would be saying something to the ref. I think we've been lucky to escape once again there. Moments after, and they do have another free kick. It's a better delivery from the seven, but once again, it's a UTR head there. We've just broken down one of their moves, and Mike's is going to play this ball down the line for Toby. He's up against number 26. Can he get him in a one-on-one -on -one situation? Cuts inside, tries to flick it inside of him. Thinks about the shot. Thinks too long, though, and he has lost it. But only for a moment, it's going to come back out uh, to Mike's, who goes for a shot, not a bad strike, looked like it might have been going wide and in the end it's just going to run through to their keeper. Lamry has the ball just inside our half, he drops the shoulder on the number 10 and plays it forward looking for Jamil, Jamil flicks it behind him and then plays it past the number 10 nicely, he's got a bit of space to run into here, he gets his head up, can he get a ball into the box? He does so but Long Lane are going to deal with it. We are coming straight back at them, this time it's Santos from right back and uh, he's got Toby with him there, can he use Toby? He does try and do that with a back heel, it goes into Mike's here, Mike's takes a shot, unleashes one. Almost no backlift, I don't know how he does it, generates that much power with no step or anything is pretty much, I don't know, it's incredible. Over on the left and the 11 seems to be finding himself everywhere for them as Jamil's played a nice pass through there to Lamre. Lamre skips past the 21, skips past the 6, he's brought to ground and there's our shout for a penalty. Lamre can't believe it, referee says no. And here it is. Ooh, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of both decisions down in the comment section below. It's dropping down here for Tolu to get there. Number 11 gets his head to it and Thomas absolutely clatters into the number 21. I think he actually doesn't know how strong he is. Back into our half and once again back with their danger man. Number 11 shifts inside very nicely, seats Tolu on his bottom and he goes for a shot from distance. It's not a bad one and if that went in that would have been a very very good goal. Seating Tolu, there's the replay. I told you I don't just show it for us and the shot was decent too. 
Number seven for Long Lane, another delivery into the box with that left foot. Tolu gets his head to it first. Can he get the second uh, chance at it? No, he can't. It goes to the number 16. He recycles the ball out for Long Lane and they try and get another ball into the box. But Santos has blocked it. It's going to be the same man to take the corner again from the right side, left footed into the back post, but it's going to run all the way out. At the moment, and it would seem like we haven't really created much in this game, but uh, it's come out on the edge of the box here to Tolu. Tolu tries to go for one and it's just wide of the right post. Not a bad attempt at all. They've got a goal kick trying to get up the pitch here, but look who it's going to be. It's going to be Jed rising like a salmon. Lamro tries to keep it in there, but unfortunately he can't this time. The ball's going to come across here uh, to Lamro, who controls it nicely. Got a 21 straight on his touch, and it's broken to the 16. Long lane trying to get forward. Jed's done just about enough to put the 16 to the ground. It goes in from Reggie to Tolu. Nice little turn from Tolu. Mike gets the ball. He gets his head up, and he goes for a switch pass there. Will it make it to Toby? It does. It's a nice touch from Toby. Gets it in field. Tries to flick it onto Lamro, and it's not worked this time. Comes back out to Toby, but he's lost his foot and slipped he's uh, put in a good challenge there number four tried to win it he's uh, lost his foot again and long lane are gonna break so on the left now and it's a dangerous situation number 11 up against Jamie and he's just absolutely breezed past him that's a mismatch there number 11 still going can he put one across the box he does but once again he can't get to any of his teammates and he is causing us a lot of problems at the moment nil nil then it's been a battle so far both teams grafting uh, chances here and there but nothing to separate the two sides at half time nil nil but obviously, there's not many men in the box in it, so we're beating them down the line, down the line. There's not many men there, so I say we cross it before we get to the byline. Because if you know quick, yeah, I was gonna say, you know, literally. I was going to say, yeah, um, I feel like when we have the ball and we're attacking, I don't, it's rushed, but I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. Where we're bad is defensively. They're in all the time. Yeah. We're not tracking our men, we're not covering, we're panicking. What did I say? Our first 10 minutes is slow, so work yourself into it. What I want you guys to do is defend first. Even the so-called ball players, us men that attack and love the ball, we can't even control it. No. So if we can't control it, why are defenders trying to take two touches? That's why I said don't kill Jams. Because Jams is getting a bollocks because you fist one with tech at him on this pitch. Just make, because all Jams is going to do is clear it. So why can't you do it? So you just clear it and we squeeze up. We've got to talk. I'm hearing the same voices all the time. Yeah. And literally, work horse panic is contagious. When one person panics, the next person panics. On corners, we're like, who's got this? Who's got this? So literally, keep them in front of us and attacking. Let's get a few more shots off, test the keeper, and move it that tiny bit faster. We started working our way back. I say half time killed us because we're just thrown into the game. Yeah. But literally, second half starts. I want you guys to start with the same intensity that we just finished, but defensively, much better, please. Jams, well played. Jamie, well played. Everyone at the back here. Yeah? Defend first. If we Talking. don't concede, we don't lose. It's as easy as that. Talking will make it easier. We've got a right back coming in, all the way in, and he's making find himself in the box. Yeah. He's a wing back. He's a wing back. So the, the, that's the thing. We're not. So that's why we got the we got the spaces out wide early. Yeah. Yeah. But with the wing back, that's Tolly's doing well because he's coming around to cover. Yeah. And then then we've got an extra man up top. Yeah. But they they're just kind of cheating. Yeah, we're finding four on us. And then they're just giving it to that guy that's quick and he's yeah. just running it in. That's why we need to, if we cover early and screen, they ain't got yeah, I, I, haven't even, I haven't seen what they've got. They talking. just give it to their fullback and clip it in. What we need to do is we need to avoid giving them set pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Any opportunity where they can get into our box because they've got people who can win the ball in. So we need to be careful of that. Make sure you go and follow all the Under The Radar social pages to keep up with us. And also, as you're watching Sunday League right now, tweet me a picture of where you're watching it from, what you're watching it on, and use the hashtag UTRGang. So yeah, guys, uh, after six weeks plus out of football for me, uh, I've finally come back into the game and it felt so weird to be on the pitch honestly i felt like i landed on a new planet but we've made a substitution we've put jed at left back and i've gone into center mid as mike's this time drags his shot wide so then they've just cleared the ball up the pitch and jed's jumping with their number 14 on the far side the referee hasn't seen that it's bounced off his head and she's given them the throne though and we couldn't believe it as i mentioned i felt like i landed on a new planet so i was probably a bit too excited there tried to win the ball initially off the number six didn't get so uh, but i still go keep tracking and take the ball off the number 16 as we have an opportunity to break now with jed lamray's left it to him and he can bring us forward up the pitch from left back now he's up against the number 21 here tries to tip it past him 21's done his job very well santos has the ball on the right for us and he plays a nice ball into thomas thomas controls it well and he plays it out wide uh, looking for toby can we get a delivery into the box toby goes to cross it number four gets his head to it it'll come back out to the seven he's trying to get this clear for them toby puts in a nice tackle there and it's going to be a goal kick one minute they're tackling each other the next minute uh the seven's helping toby stretch out his back which fair play to him good sportsmanship i'm pretty sure after that these two became the best of friends they couldn't stop talking to each other i'm telling you 
They've taken the throw and it's gone down the line. Jamie's going to win the header up against the number 10. It drops down a bit of confusion between Mikes and Santos. 10's gone in a little bit dangerously there and also on Mikes there, but he's going to clear it up the pitch. It's going to run straight through to their keeper. Number six for Long Lane does well to win the header. It drops down to Tolu, cushions it into the path of Mikes. Mikes with a clever turn and he's going away from a few Long Lane players, but runs into traffic, comes back out to me. I play it through to Lamre. Lamre going through and on goal, but he's been called offside and I don't think that was the right decision. As you can see here, the linesman's got his flag out, but take a look at the replay and is Lamre offside let me know down in the comment section below over on the left and we've got the ball with Jed who leaves it to me so I take over I play it into Lamre's feet Lamre pops it back to Jed it's kind of like a training drill but unfortunately the bounce has taken the ball too far and they've cleared it out in fact the referee has decided to play the advantage so we get a free kick and Mikes takes it it goes hits the first man and goes out for a corner Mikes has gone across to take that corner with the left foot good delivery and Jamie's there arriving to make it 1-0 it is his first Goal for UTR and what a massive header that is. You can see him. I don't know if you remember, but Jamie did say, because he's got no badge on this side, he's going to slap it if he scores one day. And he has done that, but what a massive header that is. So we're 1-0 up and it's not a bad position to be in, but can we get a second? It would be nice. They've got a free kick. It's going to be taken by the number seven here. It's going to be cleared also by Santos. Uh, Toby sets it back to Mike, who's then able to get us up the pitch. Uh, and it doesn't look like there's going to be anything happening here. It's going to run straight through to their keeper, but we're going to keep running. We're going to keep going as he's rolled it out to the number 26. And it comes across here. Lamre's come to support me. A bit unfortunate. The ball goes back to me. But I've been able to play it back to Lamre. Up against the 26. Can he get something across the box? 26 is a good recovery tackle. Toby goes across to take the corner. It's not a great delivery. Sliced it totally. It goes into Reggie's. Controlled it down to Tolu and Tolu's gotten the header all wrong this time. We've got a free kick inside their half. It's going to be Mike's trying to get towards the back post. He does so and Tolu's just absolutely clattered into the goalkeeper there. We might just be on a break here this time as Thomas flicks it over around the corner. Number four tries to deal with it and fails to do so, but Tolly's played a lovely weight pass here through for Toby. What can we do on this attack? It's gone through the legs of 26, but it's a poor pass and he's given it away. Number four is going to clear it up the pitch. I'm going to cut it out here and it's going to drop down uh, for Mikes. Mikes flicks it around the corner. Number six gets his head to it. Lamro takes a touch, tries to flick it for Mikes, and once again the keeper's going to get there. Thomas has picked up the ball here and uh, he keeps it away from the 20 and the 16, and then he can play it out wide looking for Jed. Jed at left back plays a ball in there looking for Toby. Toby flicks it around the corner to Tolu, and unfortunately this time he will be just offside. It's up in the air and Toby's challenging up against number six. That's a blatant shove in the back. The referee sees nothing wrong with it though. Number 21 for Long Lane has it and he tries to ping a ball. It's not a bad one. Jamie gets his head to it there and it's going to come across. Reggie does well to get there and also won us a free kick. Mike's is trying to shield this one up against number six who does get a toe to it but Mike's is still able to get his head up and play a pass out to Toby. Toby takes it nicely down on his chest and sets it to me. I catch it quite nicely. Number 21 gets in the way though and it does look like we won't be able to make it anything out of this. Play continues from that attack and Long Lane are coming forward with the number 11. Jed flies in there, he's committed a foul on the number 11. Uh, this guy cuts inside, cuts outside past Tolu and they've been given the free kick but a whole line was screaming because the lino had his hand up and said the ball went out of play. The referee wasn't really listening to it and that's why you can hear our guys going ballistic on the side. He's taken most of their set pieces but you're going to see why because that is a fantastic left foot strike and also a very good save from Kami. You can see his delivery is a quality, so he's going to take the corner again. Uh, number seven into the box. It's cleared away by Jamie. It comes out on the edge to the number 11. He sold me a little bit of a dream there. Comes across and Thomas has committed the foul. He won the free kick, so he's going to take it. And he's aiming for the bottom corner, but it's blocked by Lamre. I'm pretty sure that wall was very close. I'm not sure that's 10 steps, but, you know, we're going to clear it in the end. Santos is up against the tricky guy now, and uh, they're both chasing for the ball. Looks like he's going to run out of play, which it does. And he can't stop himself. He's running too fast. And he luckily uh, hurdles himself over the bar. We've just thrown it into play on the right. My Mike just controls it a little bit. Toby then uh, takes control and flicks around the corner. Thomas sets it down for Mike. So he plays a nice weighted pass uh, down the line. Can Toby keep it in? He's got the number four and the seven across to try and stop him. He gets a clever pass through the gaps uh, uh, for Thomas. Thomas gets it across the box. It's cut out by the 21 and cleared further away by the number six. It'll come out in the edge of the box. My touch is a bit loose. And as I've gone to shoot, the 11's put me off. Uh, one thing I definitely didn't agree with here is the referee was saying that I fell while I was already falling over, which I didn't agree with at all. You can see it in my face. Anyway, play continues. 
number 16 trying to use some quick footwork there. He's fouled Jamie. We're calling for a free kick. Referee doesn't do anything. Uh, 11's come across there and I've absolutely clattered into the number 11. So two opportunities for free kicks there. No one actually got the decision though, which is funny. So there was the foul on Jamie. And then a couple moments later, I absolutely clattered this guy. Although it was by accident. I didn't intentionally get to get uh, kicking. It's here with the number 11. He uses his body well, but he's tried to use his hand there. That's not a part of playing football really, unless you're a goalkeeper as Mike's does well to hold it up there. I've played it up the pitch. Number 26 then gets it down with his head. It comes to Thomas. He's got Tolu to his left. He has forced him a bit wide with this pass here. Sorry if you can't see anything as well with the water droplets as Tolu tips it past the six there. Tries to keep it in play, but he's lost his footing. Over on the far side, and we're going to have it with Lamry up against the 26. It's a bit of a mismatch for Pacer, definitely, as this time Lamry tries to cut one back there for Toby. It's cut out by the number four. It'll come back on the edge of the box to Mike's 26, trying to put him off there. Able to get a shot off still, and it's tipped wide for a corner. That corner then goes into the box from Mike's. It's Toby who tries to flick it there. It's uh, Jamie's shot cleared off the line. It'll come down for Jed, who controls it quite nicely. Skips past the 16 like he's not there at all, and recycles play out to Mike's. Mike's tries to get one into the box, but Toby's been called offside. We're going to make our second substitution. We're going to take Toby off and Temi's going to make his return to the pitch. So it's a big moment for real. His first involvement is going to come from a pass from Tolu as uh, he tries to tip it past this number four. He's got enough long lane shirts in front of him, the goalkeeper and the four, as well as the 26 who gives away a throw. That throw in is going to be taken by Santos who throws it into the feet of Thomas here. Thomas sets it into Mike's. Mike's has an opportunity to shoot. He does just that and he's rolled it into the far corner. So we are 2 0 up and there is our two goal cushion. We were looking for that so long in the second half and finally we have that. A very nice finish from Mike's. Cultured finish. So then, play continues and they have to kick off and start again, but we put them straight under pressure, win the ball, but the referee's given a free kick and we can't believe it. Look at everyone's reactions here. Honestly, we were going mad. I don't know what I was doing. I was like spinning around, jumping around or whatever. Thomas was jumping, Mike's was losing his head. It just looks quite funny to be honest, but so many decisions that we just didn't think were right and that's why we've reacted like that. It's just built up frustration. Tolu now pops the ball into Mike's. Mike's tries to be a little bit too clever. He's stopped in his tracks by the 20. Jed's been fouled by um, that man over there on the right. And this time it looks like they're going to get into the box. They do so. They kite back. But there is Santos to stop and prevent any goal from happening. Very, very good defending. Uh, read the game really, really well there. Number four's got the ball. They're still looking for a goal here. Once again, Santos reading the play quite nicely. He skipped past uh, the number four, it would seem. But he's been blocked off. He wants a free kick. The referee's not going to give it, though. Over on the far side. And the number 11 is chasing the ball. He's up against Jamie. Jamie's gotten too close. Too and he's brought him to the ground with his hand. That is most definitely a foul. What they're discussing here though, the linesman and the referee, they're gonna decide that it's a free kick. It was just outside the box. And uh, that is a, a decision that favors us really. Nevertheless, it's still in a dangerous position as they're put into the box. Reggie swiped it, it's hit off the crossbar. That could have been a known goal there. Jamie staying in the way like a block though, and Mike's can get it clear. We're now on the break. It's Thomas bringing us over the halfway line. We've got numbers in attack here. We've got four people coming forward. Thomas has played it into Lamry. Lamry trying to cut inside and make space for a shot. Can't do so. Comes out to Tolu, strikes it. It's deflected behind for a corner. Mike's goes over to take that corner for us. He's gone with the right foot this time, but generated a lot of power still as uh, Jamie's put that back into an area. It comes out on the edge of the box. Number 11 tries to get there. I get there first. Thomas gets a toe in there. Could have been a penalty if that 26 committed, but he's done well. The game did open up in the later stages of the game. Number 11 still running. Uh, we're into the eight. 85th minute now as it goes back to the 16 here. They've played one pass too many maybe and can't make anything of that attack. Cammy's just smacked the ball up the pitch for us and it's going to be Thomas chasing it. Brushed off the head of the number four and it looks like it will go out for a UTR throw-in. But we turn around and the referee's given the decision the other way which we can't believe and once again you can see the reaction of the players and our people on the side. We can't believe it. Anyway they take the throw and it goes into play. Mike's with a bit of a high foot so that's going to be a free kick and here we have myself being a little bit busy and uh, I just have to do that skill sometimes. But Mike's apologised we play on. It's been floated into our half. Jamie wins the header and uh, the referee's given them a free kick, but I've seen a lot worse shoves in the back this game. They decide to take this free kick quickly. Number seven has uh, opted against the cross this time. It goes out to the number 11 who's uh, up against Tolu there. Tolu's claiming that the ball's gone out of play this time. Uh, number 11 still continues his run, continues it into the box, plays it into the 14. And how about that for a finish? So Long Lane seems to be back into the game, but you can see that our players are going mental there. Absolutely not happy with the decision, saying that the linesman's flagged for the ball. Going out of play. She doesn't believe the whole ball's uh, gone out of play, but what our players were saying was just go over to your lino at least and uh, see, because obviously he's got a better view of it. According to the referee anyway, she said that she had a better view and she gave the decision. I'm not saying it was out of play or it was, I don't know what happened really, but they get the goal, it stood, and we have to play on from that.
Anyway, it's time to kick off again, uh, but both sides are very eager. Mike's is in their half and almost four of their players in ours. We have a friend on the far side. It's going to be Reggie launching it long into their half. It's a lovely touch, a bit of control from Lamren. He skips past the 26 like he's not there. He's up against the 21, also skips past him as well. Can he keep it going? It's gone back into the box. It's Mike's. Mike's plays it onto Temi. Temi takes a strike and there it is. It's 3-1 on his first game back from injury. And Temi scored a very, very important goal. And surely that should seal the victory. You can see by the celebrations just what it means to us. Everyone is going mental. Everyone on the pitch, on the sides, and it's a massive goal. I'm so, so happy for Temi. Spent so long out of injury, and finally, in his first game back, he has scored a goal. First goal that's going to count for UTR. Oh, We're almost over the finish line. It's with the number 20 for Long Lane as he plays it out wide uh, to uh, the number 21. We're going to keep this pressure up, though, in the late moments of the game. We do want to make sure that we see this out as it comes to the number 6. He's overrun it a bit there, and he's clashed with Temi. Uh, it's been a foul. Referee comes straight over, not hesitating, and she's going to give Temi a yellow card. But this guy was in a measure of pain, and uh, unfortunately, it's never nice to see, really, when you see even your opponents in pain. I don't know what it was. I think his left thigh that he's pointing to there. But eventually, he's able to get up. Uh, Jamie and Temi help him off the pitch, and we are able to continue the game. They've got a free kick to be taken from the left. He's whipped it, but straight at Kami. Mike's has poked this one down for Tolu here as he holds off the number 14 and uh, Thomas is making a run forward. Tolu still bursting into the box and he's overrun it this time maybe. Keeper does well to come out and claim it. Anyway, we are almost done. I've picked up the ball here. I played it out wide looking for Jed. Didn't realise there's a blue shirt there because the call was so prominent. And uh, yeah, fortunately for us, that is the last action of the game. We've won this 3-1. We've battled. We've dug deep. And we've gotten a massive three points. This could be a telling game in the title race. Another massive win. Big result. Once again, good performance. Grinded it out. And we have the three points. Under the radar then. Top of the table. But we do have teams with games in hand on us. Long Lane have a game in hand. Bayswater have two. And Spring Hill have three. So the title's not really, really in our hands. But all we can do is try and win as many games as we can. And all if possible. But yeah guys, that is it for this week's Sunday League. I'm going to leave it with you guys. My man of the match is going to be Jamie. I feel like his goal was very important in terms of giving us the lead and putting us on the front foot. Uh, also, he won a lot of his aerial battles. Although on the other hand of things, he could maybe have got sent off if the referee decided to go a different way. Anyway, leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new as ever. And I will talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. Stay with me until the night. Take time. I take time when I make mine. I keep it real, I never fake mine. On the camera in the meantime. Kinda quiet when it's me time. I pre-thighs in my free time. Subscribe and you rewind. That's how we do it when we 